Hey guys, I'm JW13 and welcome to my FIFA 16 Liverpool career. As you can see, we're starting off with our manager career. We're not going to use any of the uh, increases that we got from FIFA 15. And we're going to be starting off with my hometown team, and that's Liverpool. And we're going to put it up to world class, download the latest, but we're not going to enter the European competitions in the first season. Okay, as you can see, we've put ourselves in as the manager, Mr. JW13, and we're English, and I'd like to think I'm more of a tracksuit manager than a suit wearing manager. So we've decided to go for that, and here we are, Liverpool upon the new boss, JW13. And here we are, it's the new part of the FIFA 16 career, it's the pre season tournament invite. Um, we've been invited to participate in the pre-season friendly tournament. This is a great opportunity to get to know all the players in your squad, experiment with different tactics and get the team ready for the upcoming season. There's also prize money for doing well in the tournament. That's something we could definitely uh, do with. So let's have a look. We've got three different invitations. First off, the European International Cup, then the Champions Cup and the last America's Cup Invitational. Looking at it, more prize money for the European one. It's also the more difficult one with the bigger clubs in it. And yeah, I think I will go with the European International Cup to start us off. Well, guys, we've now got our objectives for the forthcoming season. And in the league, we've been told we need to at least qualify for the Champions League or the Champions Cup, as it's called in FIFA. And in the domestic cup. Uh, they'd like a cup run and get to a final so we've got to either get to the final in the FA Cup or the uh, Capital One Cup if we can the formation we're going to be using it's a 4-3-3 uh, we're just going to play Sturridge up front on his own uh, with Coutinho and Firmino just behind and midfield three of Milner, Henderson with Chan at the moment in the middle unless we can find a defensive central midfielder that would fit into the system and then the back four is Moreno on the left, Clyde on the right with Sacco and Skirtle in the middle and Mignolet in goal. And as you can see we've got our substitutes there with Bogdan, Lovren, Flanagan. He's in there because he can play both right back and left back. Uh, Lucas Leiva, Lalana, Ings and Benteke. Um, have a quick look through the reserves for the rest of the players. We've got Torre who I'm going to put on the transfer list. A uh, young player called Polgar. Uh, Jose Enrique, who's also going on the transfer list. O'Hanlon, a left back. The young uh, signing from Charlton, uh, Gomez. He's in the reserves at the moment. He'll be playing a lot in the cup. And you've got Chilavera, uh, young scouse lad, Jordan Rossiter. Phillips, Joe Allen, who's going to be getting sold. Uh, Texera, who he possibly will be getting sold maybe at the end of the season, see how it progresses. Uh, then Brannigan, Jordan Ive I'm going to send out on loan for the season, see how he progresses as well. Then we've got Sinclair who I don't think is going to grow much in this season. So I might sell him on uh, send him out on loan even and see how he does. If not then sell him at the end of the season. Same with Jack Dunn who I think is 20 now, if I can remember rightly, yeah 20. So he needs to improve a lot this season for us to be keeping him next year. And then you've got Divock Origi, who I'm going to send out on loan again this season, hopefully to improve him. Because as we're only playing the one up front, and we've still got Sturridge, Ings and Benteke, he's not really going to get much game time for us. Okay, as you can see for our scouts, I've just sent one out, uh, just looking for any promising youngsters between the ages of 16 and 18. Because I want to bring in a lot of the youth, bring them through into the team. Uh, we will occasionally go out and sign a big name player and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have to find a new goalkeeper because I don't think Simon Mignolet is actually up for the actual job. He's not going to be a good number one in my opinion and I found a younger and probably slightly better already goalkeeper. I mean Timo Horn, he's only 22 years old. Uh, I'm going to just put a cheeky little inquiry in straight away. For Timo Horn and then send my scout out but I've already seen that he has a lot of ability so I would love to bring him in as our number one and also I want to look for a defensive midfielder uh, to go instead of Chan in the middle 
Uh, if you guys have got any suggestions on who I could go for, try and get it as a young, youngish player, someone 22 and under. And if you've got any suggestions, please put that in the comments below for us, guys. That would be great if you can. And we've got our Timo Horn inquiry. They want 17 million. Ooh, it's a little steeper than I thought it would be. I'm going to put a cheeky little 10 million pound bid in. Let's see how that one comes about. If we can get him for that amount, that will be absolutely amazing. And unfortunately, ooh, I don't like that. We're going to be losing Coutinho and Firmino for the whole of pre-season. So that, that's not going to help us out at all in pre-season. It's because, because we're missing Coutinho and Firmino for pre-season, we're going to be uh, playing Ings and Origi just behind Daniel Sturridge in our attack just to see how they do. Of course, Origi is going to be put on the uh, loan list. So getting this game time with us in pre-season and then hopefully going on loan will improve them a lot. And because of the two Brazilians being away, there's a place now on the bench for Jordan Rossiter for pre-season. So he's going to get a little bit of game time as well. Okay, here we are guys. Our first game in the career mode. And it's against Olympic Marseille in the pre-season tournament. Come on, get over. That's it. Keep pushing him, good lad. Yeah, he's doing well there. If he keeps up this form, I won't need a new centre mid. Oh, woeful there uh, for Hendo. Come on, get back on him. Get back on him. That's it. Oh. In front of him. Jeez. The first shot of the game. Goes to Marseille. Come on, good lad. Oh, nice cutback. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, Jesus. Give it back, Chan. Good lad. Oh, good block by the defender and they got it out. That was a golden opportunity. Oh, and this could be even better. Oh, oh referee, come on. Oh, surely that was a foul ref. Surely. Right through, is he? Come on. Don't let the shot come in. That's easy, easy there for Simon. And that's half time. Had a couple of chances, but it's just not been good enough, in my opinion, for us in the first half here. Just have a quick look at the stats. We've reduced them to one shot. We've had two, but we've only had the 39% possession, so that's got to improve in the second half. One stutch! Oh, come on! Oh, can't get much closer than that. Great pass for rings and first time effort and hits the post. Damn it. Go on. Oh, he's in. Go on, Danny Ings. Oh, yes, finesse shot. And Danny Ings makes it 1-0 in our first game. Look at that. He's absolutely loving it. Have another look at it. Oh, he was absolutely pinged down by storage. How he managed to control that, I have no idea. But the finish, absolute perfection. Just finessed it. Passed the keeper into the corner of the net. 1-0 Liverpool. Oh, cut inside, good lad. And again, one more. Have a go. Oh, straight to the keeper, but great work. Cut on inside twice. Unfortunately, onto his weaker foot. But now we're getting caught at the back. Hold on. Oh. No, don't get, let them get the shot. Don't let them get the shot. 
closed it down just at the end there. Oh, what are you doing? No! Oh, Sako, I said head it away! Jesus! Just lump the ball forward, Sako there all day. Oh, I don't believe that. He got beat in the air. And then a header off the inside of the post. Jesus. Right at the death. 88 minutes gone. And it's 1-1. Long climb. You can be the absolute hero here. Oh, go on. He's on a run. He is absolutely running through. Oh, that ball was just too far ahead of Arigi there. Damn it. That could have been the winner. Oh, go on. We could still win it here. Oh, damn it. And there's the full time whistle. So it's a point apiece here against Marseille. Let's have a look at the stats. We shaded it slightly on the shots. Possession was more Marseille, but considering how bad we were in the first half on possession, I think we did absolutely brilliantly second half keeping the ball. But anyway, a, a point's not too bad to start off with in the pre-season tournament. Just need to get that win in the second game now. Well guys, that's the end of our first episode of this FIFA 16 Liverpool career. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and don't forget put down in the comments below which young central midfielder I should be looking at and possibly go and get to replace Chan in the central of my midfield but until next time guys thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.